What's up guys, MacBoy here and uh, today I've got another app review for you and uh, this one is a really important application uh, to everyone who designs and makes projects on your computer. This is not a project designer or maker, something like InDesign, Photoshop or Illustrator. Um, this is, it helps you make pieces of a project. What I'm trying to say is it um, builds, it's, it's an image editor and it's nothing like Pixelmator or it's nothing too fancy. It's a really, really small and lightweight application that just helps you um, frame images. Now, um, I know a lot of people uh, want like to frame images, to have different frames around it, just make it look nice, different colors, different designs. And uh, it's really hard to find an application that does that and only that for you without any struggle. You know, there are applications on the Mac that um, like do that like uh, like iPhone I think has that feature if not then iPhone just they can't put frames on a image but anyways today I review I found a really nice application called Easy Frame and it does exactly exactly what the name so it says and it's really small and it has all the features to frame your image so it's really easy to use first of all to find an image you can go to file open or you got this uh, really cool scenery here of a palm tree and a pool over there uh, with no water in it um, and I want to put a frame on it because because I'm making a brochure for my company that um, cuts grass okay and uh, it's squared right now and you don't want to go into Photoshop and you want to uh, make it curved and all that just take too long so this application just has built-in shapes that you can use to put on your image and it's so easy, all you do is just click on the uh, frame that you like and it puts it on for you. So let's say you just want curved edges. Click on that one. And as you can see, this image now has curved edges. Now there are tons and tons of them over here. That's going to be like a hexagon, an octagon, a star, uh, this TV retro looking thing. Then there's different categories like sloppy, and you have like sub and, and all this TV. And there's just tons and tons of them that you can choose from that you can use to save and edit and put in your um, website or whatever brochure. Now uh, you do see in the background that it's white. Uh, let me go back to the simple shapes and select this one. Sorry, I see you want this one. The background is white as you can see right here and uh, when you save it the background will be there unless you just select the option called uh, transparent background and uh, as you can see the white just went away. I'll do that again white no white and um, just let you know in order to have a transparent background it has to be in PNG format uh, not JPEG or I believe yeah or uh, just not just not JPEG just PNG or TIFF so I prefer PNG and you can save it as a transparent background again you can also copy it to copy to your clipboard you can send it to easy crop which is another application that comes with you can uh, send it to file shoot again a different application that the company makes um, color wheel so if you don't have a transparent background you can change the color of it to red if you want or you know whatever you can just play around to make it work to whatever you want to work sorry just to leave the image let me import that again here we go and I'm gonna have a transparent background all right right here and um, all you do is you just you can just click save image or copy it to clipboard so I copied it and you can open up preview and then hit command and on the keyboard and it's going to come up right here and then you can save it like that save as and then PNG or you can just click save and choose where you want to save it and the format and click save so came up right there and as you can see it has no background and it has a really nice frame and then you can take this image and import it to whatever uh, program you're using to make the project and that's basically really it guys um, very very nice application that I found when you're making projects uh, for whatever school brochures and uh, websites and blogs and uh, you can just use it for whatever you need it's called easy frame once again and the link to download it is in the description as well as my Twitter my business email where you can contact me for any questions or concerns and my Facebook where you can become a fan of us over there. Alright guys, thanks a lot for watching. Please make sure you rate, comment, and subscribe uh, to this video and channel. Please do make sure you leave me a comment down below. Just thanks is fine and I'll see you guys next time.